Friends, now we have to solve quadratic equation 2y square plus 9y plus 10 is equal to 0 by completing the square method. Friends, don't forget to subscribe our channel because here we are trying to cover each and every problem of mathematics from class 1st to class 12 with English explanation as well as Hindi explanation. So friends, subscribe our channel and now see the next video. Now here the given equation is 2y square plus 9y plus 10 is equal to 0. And we have to solve this equation by completing the square method. Now to use this method, it is better if we shift the constant term in the right hand side and if we will get coefficient of y square as 1. So the first thing we have to shift constant term plus 10 in the right hand side, it will become minus 10 and then we have to divide both the sides by 2 so that we will get coefficient of y square 1. So we get a new equation as y square plus 9y upon 2 is equal to in the right hand side minus 5. This happened because we have shifted plus 10 in the right hand side so it become minus 10 and then we have divided each and every term by 2. Now in the left hand side we want complete square and that's why we have to apply one formula. A plus B whole square is equal to A square plus 2AB plus B square. A square plus 2AB plus B square. Now all of you know this expansion. Now we have to rewrite this equation by changing their sides. A square plus 2AB plus B square. This expansion is equal to A plus B whole square. That means to get complete square we want proper expansion like A square plus 2AB plus B square in our left hand side. But in left hand side only two terms are there. We want third term and there is a formula to find third term in this situation. The formula is square of the half of the coefficient of variable y. Square of half of the coefficient of variable y. Now first we have to find this term. As we know here coefficient of y is 9 upon 2. So we have to take first half of it and then we have to make square of this. And then we have to add this new term on both the sides of the equation. So see half of 9 upon 2 which is coefficient of y whole square. Now its value is if we solve this then its value is 81 upon 16. 81 upon 16. Now we have to add this term 81 upon 16 on both the sides of the equation. So we get in the left hand side y square plus 9y upon 2 plus 81 upon 16 new term is equal to in the right hand side minus 5 plus new term 81 upon 16. Now applying above formula identity we can say that left hand side is the expansion of y plus 9 upon 4 whole square y plus 9 upon 4 whole square is equal to in the right hand side solving the calculation we get 1 upon 16. So by taking square root on both the sides we get y plus 9 upon 4 is equal to in the right hand side plus minus 1 upon 4 because we have to take square root so it may be positive or negative. So by shifting plus 9 upon 4 from left to right side it will become minus and we will get value of variable y as y is equal to plus minus 1 minus 9 upon common denominator 4 because both fractions have same denominator so we can take common. Now because of plus minus 1 in this term we will get two values of y. First one is y is equal to minus 1 minus 9 upon 4 that means minus 1 minus 9 minus 10 upon 4. Minus 10 upon 4 means minus 5 upon 2. This is the first value. And second value of y is plus 1 minus 9 upon 4. 
that is minus 8 upon 4 that is minus 2 so like this we have two values means two roots of this equation one is minus 5 upon 2 and other is minus 2 